Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Jacqueline. I'm a third grade teacher and I'm going into my second year of teaching. In this video, I am going to show you guys what's in my teacher bag. Okay, so this is what my teacher bag looks like. Um, it's pretty spacious to me. Um, I do not usually bring a lot of things home. I try not to. I try to get all of my work done during my work hours, even if that means during my break or during my lunch. I really try to be productive while I'm in school so that I don't have to come home with a lot of things. So when I first started teaching, I thought I was going to need one of those like rolling carts. I just thought I was gonna need something really big. But I am just not a procrastinator. I always get things done as soon as possible. So with that being said, I used to come home with just like an empty bag or just a very few things in there. So I sized down and then I sized down again and now I ended up with this bag. I got this bag at Target. It's on sale right now. I think it was like around 14 bucks, something along that price. So let me show you guys. That's what it looks like. I am obviously a neat freak. I really am. But anyways, we'll just go through um, what's in here. So you have two pockets in here. Um, I'll put my phone and my keys in there and that's pretty much it and then in this Little zipper I have two masks That's a necessity now people And then I also have some chapstick. This is my favorite chapstick. It's actually called chap ice And it's the cherry kind and it has SPF 4 but it's so pretty when you put it on it kind of looks like you put like a little red lip gloss or something so i like this it kind of makes my lips look a little bigger too so anyways check this out and then we'll start with my agenda so this is the one that i picked out for this year it's very slim like i said i don't like carrying a lot of things i wasn't gonna get a big bulky planner because I don't want anything big. I want everything to be really light. And it had everything that I needed. So I got this at Office Depot. I don't remember how much it was, but I'll link it down below. I haven't used it yet, thankfully, um, because the plans of our district keep changing. So um, at first we were supposed to be in school by now, but then they moved it back a month later. And then today I got an email saying, just kidding, we're going back two weeks early. So anyways, there's a lot of changes, so I'm literally not going to write in it till the very first day of school, till I know the plans are set in stone. So I'm not gonna be using it just yet. The next thing I have is my wallet. Um, yeah, I just have cards in here. I also have this thing. It's an oil absorbing sheet. They're amazing for those of you who have oily skin. You can just take out a sheet and dab your face and all the oil will come out. It's pretty amazing. Um, so yeah, I have this in here. I have all my credit cards and then gift cards. And that's it. And then, okay, my next two things, which are my last two things, are like my favorite. So I have this from Amazon. I had never seen anything like it, but let me just show you guys how cool it is. As you can probably tell, you hold your pens in there. And I don't know if you guys can see, hold on. So here is all the pens. So you just open it up and you slide it down. And here are all your pens, you can see them. So I love that I can just see all the colors, I can easily pick them. And then when I'm done, I just do that zip it and then throw it in my bag. So anyways, I thought this was the coolest thing. A lot of people actually use it for their makeup. So I don't know, I think it's really cool that I can have 
all my pens with me. So I have all of my pens at school, and those are my school pens, like I don't bring those home. But then these are like my travel pens. They go everywhere with me, um, just in case I do bring something home. And let's say I'm grading papers, and I wanna grade with a blue pen, but I don't have a blue pen at home. Um, I will here. So here I have all the pens that I need in different colors. You could even put scissors in here, highlighters, whatever you want really. And yeah, I just love it. It's kind of snug when I like push it up, but look at that. <laughs> I love that. That is so neat. I will definitely link this in the description below as well. And then I have this other really cool thing. This was also made for your pens. So when you open it up, you would have all of your pens in here, but I use it for a different purpose because I already use that little small bag for pens. So here I kind of put like my little, little travel makeup and stuff. And if you don't, like if I didn't have this in here, then I could also make it smaller by not using this zipper down here. So it could be this small and this slim if I wanted it to be. I could do it like this, or I could make it even bigger if I have more pens or more makeup. And because I have like this little powder, then I do use the bottom space. So I'll kind of show you guys what I have in here. So I have some powder just because I have like, I have dry oily skin, but some days after school I am like a grease ball. <laughs> so I have this powder right here just in case I'm going somewhere after school. Um, let's say I'm not going home and I'm meeting up with some friends, then I have this. Um, I also have, let's see, more chapstick. I have, oh I forgot about this. I have a little lip gloss here. Revlon, and it's just a clear lip gloss that I totally forgot about. I have keys. This must be my old keys because I don't have that car anymore. And then I have some Tylenol. Um, let's see. So I'm going to put that in its little pocket. I have my school ID right here. Um, then down here I have like, you know, this other little space. I have more chapstick. This is the EOS chapstick which I know a lot of people use, but I'm telling you my, that chap ice that I showed you guys is so much better to me. It moisturizes so much more and gives a nice pretty color. And then I have this little perfume spray. Oh, this is the best. I'm gonna put some on because it smells so good. And it's like for, it's like a little one for your purse. Now, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but it says Gingham, G-I-N-G-H-A-M. Um, so I used to use this candle so much. I love this candle, but then a friend told me candles are bad and toxic. So then I switched over to essential oils, but I missed this smell so much that I ended up buying the perfume, <laughs> which is probably still toxic and not okay, but I just, I love the smell so much. And so anyways, this stays in here. I also have this um, little travel mini version of the CC cream that I use. Um, I talk about the CC cream a lot with my friends because it really is the best thing ever. I stopped using foundation years ago whenever I found this um, CC cream because it's just so light, but also it feels like it gives me like full coverage. I feel like it does cover up all of my blemishes while it's still thin. I don't know how that's possible, but it feels so good too. And yeah, I love it. I will never ever wear foundation ever again um, now that I have this. And so anyways, I ordered a full size on their website and I can't remember if this came with it or if I paid a little bit more for this travel size, but it comes in handy, it's so small. And then I have another scrunchie because I always go to school with my hair down. I don't usually like wearing my hair up or in a ponytail or even scrunchies because 
My hair breaks pretty easily. I can immediately tell when I take out a ponytail from my hair and there's like all this hair on it. And so anyways, I barely use ponytails and when I go to school, I normally go to school with my hair down, which is kind of risky because I teach third grade and lice is a huge problem, but thankfully I didn't have to deal with it last year and hopefully I don't have to deal with it anytime soon. But um, as soon as I would get in my car, maybe throughout the day, it'll finally be time to put a ponytail on, especially if I have recess duty here in Louisiana. It is so hot. <laughs> and so if I have recess duty, I'll definitely throw on a scrunchie. So I have here a scrunchie. And then the last thing I have here is just some like Germex spray. This one's pretty cool. My husband got it at his old job. And then you just spray it. And there's your Germex, and I just love how like flat it is. So anyways, I have that there. And you won't believe it, but that's all I have in my teacher bag. Occasionally, I will bring my laptop, but I normally don't. Um, some days I bring home a folder if I am grading tests at home, which is not usual at all. I'm not saying I don't do any work while I'm at home because unfortunately I do whether it's looking up activities to do for an upcoming holiday which holidays are on every corner here in Louisiana um, there's always a holiday coming up so I'm usually looking up you know holiday activities or sometimes going over my lessons for the next day but I really try not to I really try to get everything done um, at school because by the time I get home, it's like 4.30 ish because I live 30 minutes away from my work and so by the time I get home, it's like around 4.30 and then I usually throw myself on the sofa for a little while and then I get up and David and I cook dinner and then we eat dinner and then we clean up our mess in the kitchen and then by the time all of that is over, it's usually like 8 o'clock. I'm not joking. It's crazy how fast time rolls as soon as I get home. And then David and I usually go to bed at like 9.30, <laughs> which is really early. So we have like an hour and a half to like really just do something with our evening. So anyways, that's why I don't like bringing home work because then I get home and I do more work and then I go to sleep and then I go to work the next day and then I come home and then I do more work when I'm at home. and. Oh, <laughs> that sucks. And I know a lot of teachers quit teaching for that reason, but it's all about time management and how you spend your time at work. So anyways, this is my teacher bag and that is all that's in there. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that I gave you guys maybe some ideas. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See y'all.